Hey, what's up guys? So today we are talking about mastering riding a related distance. Now this is a topic that I have covered before, which was the mastering a related distance, but over Cavalettis. However, today we're going to be doing it over jumps and I will be demonstrating to you the three likely scenarios that you will encounter when you uh, ride a related distance and the steps that you need to take in order to for the related distance to ride out well. I also will be once again emphasizing the mental steps that you need to take um, in order uh, to ride your related distance well. So the mental steps are critically important and it is something that you need to do habitually and not only when you remember. So I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you in the ring baby. Okay, so firstly I'll demonstrate the normal ride. And by that I mean you have a good ride into the related distance. So you don't come in too fast and you don't come in too slow. This means that you'll land the standard two paces from the first jump and all your horse's strides are the standard four paces. So you don't have to do much. You can just travel through the related distance. This is what you aim for and through practice you'll discover what is the perfect ride for your horse. But this is show jumping, so it won't always work out like that. Let's go on to the waiting ride. This is when you come in fast or on a long distance, so you're likely to land further than the required two paces from the first jump, and at best your first one or two strides will be longer than the standard four paces. So on your approach, you need to be aware that you're coming in hot and that you'll need to ride your line differently. This is critical. You have to be aware of how you're riding into your line. So now that you know how your line is likely to ride, the first step you take is to sit up early you can't be landing with your upper body on your horse's neck because by the time you recover it'll be too late and you'll end up trying to make space for your horse right in front of the next jump. The next step is make your adjustment early. This is also super important. You don't want to leave it to the last minute when you're just about to jump the second jump. Fiddling with your horse's stride just in front of the jump is the easiest way to have a pull down. You may need to repeat this process once or twice depending on how fast you came in and how long your horse is striding. But by practicing your related distance regularly, you'll get a good feel for how much you need to do. Once you've made your adjustment, you should be good to just canter through. Okay, so next is the coming in slowly ride. We all get a bit pulley from time to time, but it doesn't have to be the end of the world if you're aware of it, you know what needs to be done, and you react quickly. So at this stage, you know that you're coming in a bit too quietly, and you're ready to react. So you stay in a light seat, keep your arm nice and soft, and get your leg on, you need to make up the distance you lost due to your slow riding and you want to get it done as soon as possible. So then there's a second way to ride a quiet ride into a related distance. And this one is to add a stride. You don't score extra points for going down a related distance in the measured amount of strides. Adding a stride is often the best choice if the jumps are below a meter or if you ride in a short striding horse 
or if you're riding a hot horse where sending it forward on a long stride can sometimes make it a bit too fizzy. Again, we recognize you on a quiet stride and are ready to react. You're sitting up early so you don't land on the neck and you're in a position to compress your horse's stride. Now you compress your horse's stride. Remember this is easier when you keep your shoulders back. You will usually need to do this twice. And then once you've created the space you need, you should be able to canter quietly down to the next jump, but on one extra stride. Okay guys, so those are the likely scenarios you'll encounter when riding a related distance. Now you need to go out and practice them. And again, remember to recognize what type of approach you're having and to make any adjustments you may need as early as possible.